invited Travel Classics, a writer's conference, to come to Ireland. And the opportunity was to showcase the best of Ireland and the character and characters and the food of Ireland. And of course, the first people that we went to, to ask was Good Food Ireland. I've been involved in so many organisations, but this is one that I feel so passionate about. And to see so many people that are so passionate about food working together as a big fam food family as such is, is a wonderful gift. It is what Good Food Ireland do best. We showcase food, we showcase our members, we're volunteers, we work for Irish tourism to create Ireland as a food destination. This has been a fantastic opportunity, as I've always said, about being a member of Good Food Ireland to profile and to exhibit ourselves corporately because it's very difficult as a small artisan producer uh, to get the profile and to get the exposure that Good Food Ireland has given us this evening. It's been a, an outstanding success for us. The interest's high. It shows Ireland as a super uh, food destination. It, it's great to work with uh, friends again uh, and make new friends within the food industry. Uh, and I think it's been done in a very, very positive way. In the last two years and my recent visits, it's just, I've been introduced to the most amazing food and it, it's just, the Good Food Ireland movement, I think it's really been a big part of it. I've just tasted like just some of the most spectacular food that I've ever eaten. I originally come from Canada where there's a lot of smoked salmon, especially on the west coast, but this was, this was different from what I'm used to and really quite delicious. And I've just been served at my table an Irish stew with uh, particularly tender and somewhat sweet tasting lamb. Um, very enjoyable. The food here is spectacular. The uh, smoked fish particularly, I'm about to go get some more. Um, every kind of smoked salmon, um, really truly delicious. The, uh, the, the beef as well has been tremendous. The most important thing, the exciting thing about this evening, it's not just showcasing our beautiful food, but those people with Good Food Ireland have been able to tell the stories behind the food. And what's been really impressive has been about the passion about the food. And it's been a marvellous opportunity for these food journalists to taste really the best of what Ireland has got to offer. The writers and editors in the United States consider Ireland to be the new France. The food is extraordinary. It's been a, a delightful surprise to some of the writers that have never been here before consider Ireland as, as corned beef and cabbage, which uh, no longer is true. Here we are in the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum and doing yet again another Good Food Ireland showcase. It's a fantastic opportunity to be here tonight because it's the first time that Good Food Ireland has worked with Northern Ireland Tourist Board, Fulch Ireland and Tourism Ireland together. The food tonight has been really, really special again. Good Food Ireland brings that to the marketplace every time it goes out, creating that bond for the industry together and also to work and support our Northern Ireland members. Um, who have, have very much been the instigators in this and who have been driving the industry on the ground in the north um, to join Good Food Ireland so that the Northern Ireland membership will have an international platform to market themselves um, in collaboration with Tourism Ireland when we do it overseas. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Good Food Ireland um, folk, particularly Margaret and all her team, and it's a great opportunity to, for us to showcase the country.